Hi, my name is Travis. I'm a contributor to the Oravana project. In this video, I'll provide a brief introduction to the project. The Oravana project exists to co-create the emergence of community through the openly shared design, construction, and operation of a socioeconomically unified network of integrated city systems, in which purposely driven individuals are fulfilled in their development toward a higher potential state of human experience for themselves and all others. Rather than assuming only iterative changes within the context of the social and economic systems that are themselves at the root of so many of our challenges, we have embarked on an analysis and redesign of human civilization, starting with the definition of what constitutes a fulfilled society. Instead of trying to patchwork and reform existing systems, we are resolving our many current and impending self-induced challenges through a design that renders those challenges obsolete. Through holistic development, conditioning elements that predispose a driving pattern of behavior are shifted toward regenerative, emergent, and global fulfillment of our true potential. Our specified designs for holistic community development address all the major areas that influence human behavior and ecological stability, tracing root issues back to driving structures and from there to the environmental influences and response mechanisms that cause them. These blueprints, a metaphor for the design specifications, then propose new structures for those environmental influences that instead condition and predispose fulfillment-oriented values and life-enhancing systems. We propose an alternative version of the present that calls for a straightforward redesign of our culture in which the age-old inadequacies of war, poverty, hunger, debt, and unnecessary human suffering are viewed not only as avoidable, but as totally unacceptable. Anything less will result in a continuation of the same catalog of problems inherent in modern civilization. Hence, our proposal presents a new and up-to-date socioeconomic system that is unlike anything that has ever been tried before. It describes a society capable of sustaining our mutual fulfillment on this planet that we all share. Hence, we envision a society oriented toward ecological sustainability and the fulfillment of all human need. A society designed and operated through social cooperation. This is a system that works for all of us and the earth upon which we depend. Through a whole systems approach, our design facilitates an understanding and transitioning of complex and interrelated crises toward wide-scale social and environmental regard. Our proposal offers every individual on the planet a set of highly enriched living opportunities based upon that which is possible today, through the union of human fulfillment and scientific possibility and directed toward a new era of flourishing and sustainability for all. Specifically, our vision involves the construction and operation of a global, network, global community network with localized integrated city systems, including a multitude of innovative and environmentally friendly technologies directly applied to our living system. We logically expect the implementation of our proposal to dramatically reduce suffering and violence on the planet, while facilitating the elevation of the well-being of the global population and maximization of everyone's quality of life. Further, the system's design will support our intellectual and emotional adaptation to our new technological age. The technological empowerment that has made us for the first time in history capable of destroying the biosphere has simultaneously enabled us to provide a quality of life to all people that is higher than anyone experiences today and to do so in sustainable harmony with our biosphere. Our technological power has given us both the need and the ability to rapidly evolve our collective values and how we navigate through life as a species. In part, the Oravana project exists to facilitate and elucidate that evolution. The project introduces a global redesign of the idea of community, using many of the principles of what has become somewhat commonly known as a natural law resource-based economy, an RBE. Herein, all goods and services are available to all people without the need for any form of exchange, including money, credits, or barter. For this to be achieved, fulfillment is cooperatively coordinated and all resources are declared the common heritage of all of Earth's inhabitants. 
Hence, one fundamental premise of our design is that we perceive the Earth's resources as the common heritage of all the world's people. In order to create an abundance in access, the community is intelligently designed to include the tracking of world resources, the application of innovations in science and technology for social and ecological concern, and the accounting of human needs. The system emerges at the material level into the co-construction of a network of integrated city systems capable of supporting a community population in sustainable alignment with the carrying capacity of its environment. In order to accomplish this, the project's adaptive design combines an emphasis on individual self-integration with a systems-oriented approach and an informed reliance on nature's principles. In an effort to provide the greatest possible clarity and value, the Oravana project has formatted the design for the proposed community, in other words, its logical derivation and technical operation, into a series of design specifications. Each formal specification is both a component of the total design, as well as intended to be a basis for deep reflective consideration of one's own community or lack thereof. Together, these living specifications represent a replicable, scalable, and comprehensively useful model for an intentional need fulfillment community composed of an integrated community city network versus city state network spanning the globe. Of note, these specifications are living in that they are continually updated as new information becomes available. The community is not ever established. Its design exists in an emergent state for it evolves as we evolve necessarily for our survival and flourishing. In essence, we are continuously designing a new system to make the existing system obsolete. It is our intent to continuously evolve ourselves and the systems of which we are an integral part. Cooperation and discovery are an inherent part of what it means to be human. The community environment herein has been designed to nurture and support the experience and evolution of this understanding. In community, individuals pursue life and learning at their own pace and according to their own interests, passions, and preferences. The design for community provides a fulfilling way of looking at, in other words, a perspective of higher potential, the nature of life, learning, work, and human interaction. It represents the potential for a life lived through meaning and purpose. Herein, the designs seek to maintain an essential alignment with humankind's evolving understandings of itself and the world of which humans are a regenerative part. Hence, we propose a design for a global community with a specific function, supporting the well-being of Earth's ecology while improving the standard of living for all inhabitants. The fulfillment of all sentient beings is an eternal way forward, and so we have come together to share in our discoveries and evolve our understandings so that our creations align more greatly with the well-being and flourishing of all sentient life on this planet and in the universe. Here, our work contributes to our own fulfillment and brings enjoy us joy in life. Our sharing opens new possibilities for inspiration and creation. How we think and work together and what we do will ultimately make the difference. Notably, our direction is also in perfect accord with the spiritual aspects and ideals found in most religions throughout the world. What sets our efforts apart, however, is that we propose to translate these ideals into a working reality in the present. Our comprehensive design specification for community suggests a potential and evolving solution to the issues universally plaguing humankind and could possibly bring about the greatest revolution in living and learning in our modern time. Change on the scale that is required can only be realized when people see and experience a better way. Unless we imagine, though most importantly explicitly describe both conceptually and technically the world we want, how are we going to create it? Our overall vision for community is an urgent one, considering the myriad of perceptible global societal crises. Candidly speaking, humanity's current modes of operation are unsustainable, and its trajectory is, structurally speaking, self-destructive. The problems we see today are not isolated or solvable at the level of the problems themselves. They are the inevitable expressions of the underlying power structures and value systems that drive human behavior to externalize harm and power. When divided ideologically and separated by borders and beliefs, it is not possible for us to apply relevant solutions to the foundations of society. Here we recognize that reducing global th threats requires the application of evidence rather than personal opinion. We must begin to identify and design in accord with that which we hold in common. 
nothing less than a fundamental redesign of global power structures co-arising with a fundamental paradigm shift in global values and worldview is adequate to resolve our challenges, avert the otherwise impending catastrophes, and facilitate the emergence of a world commensurate to our true potential. Through community specification, we can create the next generation of regenerative and fulfilling human environments wherein individuals develop toward their highest potentials through pursuits in which they are inspired and engaged. Take note that this is not some hazy future system that can't be imagined or understood. It is something that can be conceptually and technically defined. The community's design has been separated out at a high level into four principal specifications each detailing a different primary aspect of its formation and operation, its structure and patterns of coordination. Our proposal for that which we call community is composed of a social system specification, a decision system specification, a lifestyle system specification, and a material system specification. These four design specifications form an adaptive and unified information model for the implementation and operation of a globally networked, socioeconomically defined community. Together, the specifications may be said to represent a unified field theory of community. They are a treatise of every fulfilled human society given what is known. At a practical level, they specify the composition and operation of an adaptive community network of socioeconomically integrated city systems and self-integrating individuals. In other words, the four specifications represent a description of that which is required to construct and operate community, and they provide the reasoning and evidence for why community is so constructed. Here it is important to note that as we discover new information, we integrate that information into an updated version of our community model. We then reconstruct community through the application of the updated model. The evolving, spiral-like nature of the system allows us to rapidly overcome insufficiencies in its intended design. At the community level, there is the open and cooperative formalization of organization and coordination. There is a recognition that resolutions create structural modifications to our environment, which are fed back into our experience of life, causing behavioral changes to us in turn. Hence, the structural coordination logic of community is informed in a shared, explicitly planned, and accountable ma manner. The structuring of our common environment toward our mutual fulfillment requires the coordination of our tasks and open access to our common information space. Hence, the specifications become a description, a set of reasoning accompanied by visualization and simulation of how we access and participate in community. While its collaborative design and development structurally coordinates our society for the benefit of all inhabitants. Our specifications and accompanying project plan form a feasible plan of action for social and economic societal change that works toward a harmonious and sustainable global society. As contributors to this direction, we seek out new ways of thinking and living that emphasize and utilize the vast potential of an existent reality and of the human spirit. We have the tools at hand to design and build a present that is worthy of humanity's potential. Globally, we have the knowledge to accomplish this, which ought to excite anyone who understands this direction. Together, we are interested in and working toward formulating and formalizing a different kind of society. Thank you for taking the time and effort to co-create community. Let's all discover and learn our way forward. As a final note, there can be a substantial learning curve when it comes to acquiring a comprehensive understanding of what is actually being proposed by the project. It is important to remember that this community proposal represents an entirely different linguistic worldview than most, if not all, other worldviews present in modern society. Fundamentally, the community's design describes an entirely divergent way of living and of understanding reality than the many worldviews and socioeconomic structures expressed among the current population of the planet. This can present a significant motivating challenge for those interested in this direction. The design specifications are dense in content, and individuals who read them for the first time often feel like they are learning a new language and integrating a new worldview, which takes time and requires internal processing. A contributor, however, does not necessarily have to have a comprehensive understanding of the total system in order to facilitate the evolution of one of its subsystems. If you'd like to participate or get in contact with any contributors to the Orobana project, you can reach us via our website.
oravana.com. That's A-U-R-A-V-A-N-A.com.